What's up, everybody? It's a beautiful Easter morning. About to go out and do a little commercial work today. I just want to show you what how my rain harvesting system works here. My well water here is so hard that I believe it causes damage to my burner and so forth. And the pump is very slow. So I came up with this system here. We have four 330 gallon totes. What's up, copper? And this is basically how we harvest it off our gutters. It comes into a pre-filter here, gets rid of all the leaves, whatever debris, plus there's a filter up in the gutter. Then it comes down this tube here, it's called a first flush tube. Right, on the bottom of this tube here, is a nipple that has a very small gasket in it, a very small pinhole in it, okay? And this filter here, what happens is, the rainwater, this is called the first flush. This tube here is called the first flush tube. What happens, the initial water comes down in here and there's a ball in here. The ball rises up, blocks off here, and then the water is diverted into the tanks. The reason why that filter is here in that little pinhole in the gasket is because when the rain is done, all that water drains down, the ball comes back down again, dirt accumulates in that little filter, and that's how we clean that filter out. Now the rainwater comes down, comes into this tank here. Now, if you notice this here, basically, let me see if I can lift it up. I did not glue this joint right here. So this here is, uh, you can move it. There is actually a large filter bag in that, that comes down about almost halfway through the tank. So that's another filter as well. All right. We have all these linked together. As you can see, you can shut one tank off, turn another tank on, and then we basically have our, our big pump here. And it comes with a truck. And that's why any type of, uh, on our water trail, and oil, we always put 45 degrees here. So that hose, when you hook up, lays down nice and relaxed. Never want to come straight out with the hose connections, whether it's on the, on the truck or on the big water trailer down there. I always want to have a relaxed hose. Um, I mean, this tote is halfway full. So let's go ahead and uh, fire it up. You don't have to turn it on fast. You can just... idle it's basically just idling away so you can see this here I mean it sucks down pretty good now If you had this same system here and you guys wash windows, my well water is about 550 parts per million. When I test the rainwater, it's about five. So imagine if you took this water, ran it through your resin filter, and then into another tank in the shop. That resin filter would last forever because we all know it starts off with a base count. So if you're bringing it from a five to a zero, you can get a you get a very long time out of that resin filter. And then you can stock up on your water for your water fed pole and just have a tank on the truck instead of all the elaborate pump system. But these 330 gallon tanks cost me about a hundred bucks a piece. Now if I was to buy a poly tank, like a farm tank, it would be like eighteen hundred dollars. 
um, for what I got right here. Oh, we're almost, uh, it's already done like about 200 gallons. Let's let it run to the bottom. And that's that. disconnect my valve I mean just shut my valve off I have that so the water don't rust down come up here and I have my two uh, my two hooks We'll get some rain and fill these tanks up and keep on going with it. All right, guys, keep on spraying and enjoy your Easter. <laughs>